all these great girls' names picked ah. out. But anyway, we all good? Enjoy. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, welcome back, both of you. It's always great to have you here every year. And uh, congratulations on this, because this is this is great. And, you know, with Ken, I want to start with you, because this is something you've stuck by for, for quite a while, and you produced it. So what was it about the script that you went, yeah, I, this, is, this is good, i got to stick with this one? Well, I... I uh, it kind of came earlier than that. It was just uh, it was an idea that a producing partner of mine, Stephen Hamill, had, and then we kind of started to build it from his idea. Got a writer, Sasha Dravazi, and and it grew, and here we are. And here we are. And then you know, what was it about Henry that you know you, you just? I liked the journey of the character. He's described in the script as neither asleep nor awake. He works in a toll booth. He's kind of described as the most nicest guy. He says things like, "I always went along with things. I didn't know I could change it." And then he decides to basically rob a bank uh, to uh, change his life. Yeah. And in order to rob the bank, he has to get into this theater to dig, you know, dig this underground prohibition tunnel. And uh, along the way, he actually your character runs me over. Well, yeah, well, run me over. Yeah. But I meet uh, Julie, and um, and all of our and lives fun change. And <laughs> And here for you. I mean, yes, you guys and your characters meet in, a, in an un unconventional way, you know. I mean, most fate. people, yeah, fate, you know, a lot of times when somebody hits somebody with their car, they don't actually, you know, hook up, but whatever, you know, whatever. <laughs> but for you, what was it about this role and the script and, you know, that you thought, I have to do this? Oh, um, I'm a sucker for good old fashioned romance. romance. Uh, I really am. And especially the in the vein of the old, like, 30s and 40s heroines. And I and I find that in Julia, I, I I always look for contradictions in character. I love her fragility. I love her strength. I I loved her, you know, her playfulness. And she was she was loopy, you know. And yeah. and you don't often and, and I don't know. I like seeing you as loopy. <laughs> It works. I mean, we've seen him loopy a few times. You know, we don't see you loopy no, too much. No, not too much neurosis. So this was fun. This, this. Fierce. Fierce. Where's Fierce? He's a little deaf. Oh. Um, you, you, the theater thing is, is great. And, you know, what's it like trying to pretend not to be an actor and act, getting up on stage and trying to learn how to act? And having her teach It's easier when it's actually Chekhov that you're doing, which is a very hard yeah, medium that's true, to play. Because yeah. Chekhov is, is, is tough in the sense that it's it's tragic, yeah. but, you're tr but you've got to make it funny because Chekhov intended it <laughs> to be comedic. Um, so it's easier to be bad. When the play was <laughs> to act poorly, so it's easy for me. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so check off harder. Oh, check is check off harder than Shakespeare? You've done that before. No. They're both intense language plays. They're both like, you know, the characters are totally overwrought and. But the thing I mean, is, not, with, with check off, we're always dealing with translations. <clears throat> You know, at least in oh, Shakespeare. Yeah, it's true. There's, you know what I mean? So we're all so there's like an intermediate kind of element to it. There's not whereas with Shakespeare it's right well, and even then you have to deal with Shakespeare with modern um, check if there's cadence, there's tempo, there's yeah. iambic pentameter. There's a lot of things to consider with both these, these, yeah. these, these dudes. Um, great cast. Uh, no, first of all, James Conn, uh, you know, honestly, like, were you, um, you know, you've worked, you both worked with some great people. There's no, you know, no question. But James Conn, like, cool, you're, yeah. you know, stuck in a cell with this guy, you know, and, and you know, and he takes you under he his wing. He keeps trying to kiss you. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't he is a ladies' man, we know that. Yeah. <laughs> But did yeah. he kind of take you under his wing in a Actually, way? Actually, everyone in the play is trying to kiss you. But do you blame them? You or... Do you blame them? No, no. absolutely not. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm, enough I'm, said. I... <laughs> <laughs> no, but working with him, did, did he kind of take you under his wing as he does in the film? No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's more like join the storm or die. Yeah. You kind of have to see, right? It's fierce working with him. Yeah. But You're, he likes to have fun. He likes to have fun. But he's old school. He's old school. You're constantly looking totally over pro. your shoulder for Jimmy Conn because he's, he's... He might show up in here. He will. He better. Yeah. And Corleone, if he doesn't show up, that's it. I'm hanging myself. No, sorry. He's <laughs> but great. He's super surprising, very inventive yeah. as an actor. You know, keeps you on your toes. You just try to stick the... Stick this, you know, stick in his spoke before he does to you. It's fun. It's I'm sure. Fun. I am sure. This movie is very much about 
starting over and, and you know, you're not happy with where you were and you want to try something new. Yeah. Um, start with you. You've been acting for a long time since you were a young guy. Was there ever a point in your career, your life, wherever you were just like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta just start over. I gotta start fresh. You ever thought about stuff like that? No. You? Doldrums? No, nah, not so much. I mean, you try to do prevent that from like happening. <laughs> I mean, you try to nip it in the bud before you are actually in the depth of doldrums. I, no, I, I you try to go by inspiration and, and and be led to that and have and be tethered by that. I uh, I can't say I have not yet. Well, good. good. Yeah. Yeah. No, never. <laughs> huh? Nothing for you. Like I mean, like I say, acting a long time. You know, does it ever get? Oh, my back. <laughs> um. <laughs> No, I've uh, I've been uh, grateful and, and uh, glad to still fighting for a career, but um, yeah, it's just uh, no, I haven't. You know, I, sometimes I think of parallel lives. Yeah. You know, sometimes I'll think of like, oh, that could have been the other version of what happened, but I've uh, never wanted to to do anything else. Yeah, well, no, I'm, I'm glad of that. And, of course, I have to Thank ask you. the question because if I don't, my boys will never let me home. I have okay. to ask about the Bill and Ted. The rumors <coughs> are that we're going to have a number three. And I, you know, <coughs> are you okay? You want some water? You're that okay. always makes me cold. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about, oh, I don't really have to resurrect that character. But well, I'm it, surprised it, that your young children want to see that. Uh, because, hey, well, they're 14 and 18. I've shown them a lot of stuff. That, so you, you got, know, yeah, and they, they watch a lot of things Ted. that I grew up with. Excellent. And, um, excellent adventure. I, we, I know you and Alex are talking. What's going on? Because I think a lot of people want this. Um, Chris and Ed are writing a script, and so we'll see what it looks like. And are you psyched to, to resurrect this guy? Yeah. Um, Can you get back into that as long as there's a thing? Well, I mean, probably I'll probably be 50 years old. Doesn't by the matter. Time. It could be still amazing. be a dude. And, no. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Are you kidding? I, I would. Oh, if there's man. a story that's worth telling that it can make it stand on its own. Then sure. I mean, I would love to play that guy, and and I love working with Alex. So yeah, Mira, what's up uh, next for you? I don't know. Okay, well, Jill, you're gonna have a baby. This production, <laughs> right here. This is very important. After this, I'm not sure. For the first time, I don't it. believe you. I bet you'll do like a book on tape. Or you'll, <laughs> you can't. You won't be able to right. do nothing. You're gonna be doing poetry. You'll be. You'll probably cut a record. <laughs> you'll, or, or make a. You'll probably. It'll be like you'll, you'll be doing something. You're probably write a novel. <laughs> You're probably writing a novel. I, She's I'm writing a novel, writing a novel. of Let's short stories right under a, you know, absolutely you're not going to not do something. I, you know, I, I, I now for the first time I can quite frankly say I don't know what's next. I don't know. And well, it feels you, good to not know. Well, that's good. <laughs> I mean, you take care of that. And Generation Um. I had um, Adelaide Clemens in here uh, the other day, and she was all excited to work oh, with you. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. Young, up-and-coming Australian young lady. Yeah, that she's she, All she talked about was piano. Oh. She was very excited about it. Have well, you started shooting? I met her. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's filming today. Yeah. Yeah. So, sounds exciting. Well, thank you to both of you for thank coming you. in. It's always a pleasure. And uh, good luck with this. It's, it's really, it. really, really good. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Great. Do you mind if we get quick?